Hi, everyone. This is Realtor Mike Thomas uh, from Palm Beach, Florida. Just wanted to put out a great video about wholesaling, real estate wholesaling. What is it? Um, how do you do it? How do you make money at it? Can you make millions with it? Um, the answers to all your questions is in this video. So make sure you watch it all the way through to the end because, you know, we've got some uh, bits and pieces at the end that I think is really going to blow your mind. So let's get started. What is real estate wholesaling? Well, it's pretty simple. It's buying real estate at a low price and selling it at a higher price. So how do you get these uh, low prices? Where do you come across those things? Well, people that have high motivation, uh, people that uh, got a job transfer, need to relocate, uh, people that, you know, maybe have lost a, a significant other, getting divorced, any type of major change in their life. Um, sometimes they, they may have bought a new house and now they just need to dump the old house to get rid of it. Many different reasons why people want to sell for less money. Now, if there's a real estate market that's super hot, uh, it may not work as well. Uh, for obvious reasons. I mean, nobody's going to take a discount for their home when they're getting top dollar for it, obviously. But there are always people out there that are looking for um, to sell quickly. And if they have to take a little less, then they do. So how do you wholesale a, a property first? Well, my opinion, you find a good realtor uh, to help you with that. Uh, I'm a real estate agent here in Palm Beach County, Florida. Uh, I handle Miami-Dade County, Broward County, Palm Beach County, Martin County, and uh, St. Lucie County. Um, actually, I'm also doing something in Melbourne as well, Mer Melbourne Beach, which is Broward County, uh, the Space Coast. So what happens? Uh, okay, so you find a real estate agent. Uh, they find you a piece of property saying, wow, this is a really great price. I always look for price per square foot. How much is a price per square foot? What is the lowest price per square foot in all five counties? All the way from Miami, Broward, Palm Beach, Martin, and St. Lucie County, what's the lowest price per square foot? And I look at that and then I decide, hey, uh, is there something wrong with it? Uh, do I want it? Do I not want it? Is it in a good area? Is it a high resale? Uh, some of the things that I look for when I do home sailing, uh, wholesaling is I look for uh, areas and locations. So what I want is I want the worst house in the best possible neighborhood. And the reason I'm looking for the worst house in the best possible neighborhood is because that's where all the equity is. How do I find those? Well, you know... Uh, there's a lot of ways to doing that, uh, direct mailing, door knocking, asking around neighbors, driving around the neighborhood, seeing which property is not in the best of conditions. Uh, those kind of things I look for. When I find a piece of property, I contact the owner and say, hey, listen, I noticed that you have a property here. Uh, sometimes it's an absentee owner. And what that means is, is somebody may own several homes but their primary home may be elsewhere. Um, so this could be like a third or fourth or maybe even fifth home for somebody and they don't really care about it. It's just sitting there empty. And so you make them an offer and you put on a long closing date, at least two or three months. And the reason for that is, is you can sell the contract to someone else before you even close on the house. Let me explain this to you because you're going to love this, okay? So you find a house you like and you say, wow, this is a really good deal and you got the owner to agree with it and you, you're under contract to buy it. You gave them some uh, escrow or some people call it binder money. Um, and now you're in contract with this property and it's a lower price than it's really worth. So you're thinking, okay, well, I could probably make 10 or 15,000, maybe even more on this property, just selling the contract to somebody else. So basically what you're doing now is you're soliciting offers. So you put it into, you know, the multiple listing or you put it on Zillow or, or wherever you want to advertise the house. 
maybe you hold open houses on it. Maybe you'll find some, some person in the neighborhood who wants to buy it. And you sell them that house for a different price. So let's say, just for the sake of mathematics, um, you bought it for 500 and now you have it on the market for 550 Someone comes in, they love the house, they want to buy it for 550 So basically what you're going to do is you're going to sell them your contract at $500. you are going to collect $50,000 and you're out. That's called wholesaling. And it's a pretty unique concept. The problem is, is finding those homes that are out there because it's kind of like a needle in a haystack. It takes a lot of looking. Uh, if you're not experienced in doing this, if you try to do it on your own, you may have a harder time doing it. Um, real estate agents are out there to help. But the way that I work is that I don't do it for anybody. I have to have an exclusive buyer agency agreement signed because A, it's a lot of work. And B, I don't want someone to solicit 10, 20, 50, 100 different realtors to go out looking for them. And whoever finds them, the property wins the commission. So I'm going to do a, a ton of work. And maybe my chances of, of getting the commission is kind of like the lottery. And I, I don't work like that. Uh, some agents do. Um, I'm not one of those agents. So that's wholesaling in a nutshell. Um, how do you get it? How do you get the financing? Sometimes you don't need financing. The way that I just explained it, you don't need financing. Unless you're planning on buying it and putting it into your name and reselling it, then you really don't need financing whatsoever. However, let's say you did. Let's say you're going to come to your 90-day closing. Um, you got super greedy. The house is worth maybe five fifty, dollars but you want like uh, 700 for the house and you think it's going to go to 700 within the next two, three, four, five months. Um, so now you may want to hold on to it. Maybe you want to put it in your name and, and uh, hold on to it for a little bit. So now what do you do? Well, you have a few options. You can get money. If the bank won't give you money, there's always what we call private money or non-conforming loans. Non-conforming loans is a pretty neat thing, but most of the time they're going to want to see 20 or 25% down on your own money because nobody's going to give you 100% of their money uh, where you have no skin in the game whatsoever uh, based on you know, the numbers that you provide for them. Oh yeah, it's worth, you know, $700,000. And um, when it's really not. So they're going to ask for a lot of things. Um, when somebody gives you more than a half a million dollars, they're going to want to know some things. Um, so they're going to check things out thoroughly. They're going to check out the property. They're going to have it appraised. They're going to have many things done to it to protect their investment. And they're going to want to see you have some skin in it. And then that's going to be a high interest rate. Uh, Non-conforming loans are higher interest rates than most banks will be able to offer you. But you're not going to hold or you're not planning to hold it for a long period of time. So that may be good for you. And then you have some closing costs on top of that. Because remember, always remember, it takes money to borrow money. Nobody's just going to give you money without you know, having some closing costs involved there, then you got to transfer the title in your name uh, and various other things. I find it much simpler just to resell the contract and just flip it. This is what we call flip the contract. So there you go. That is home, wholesaling in a nutshell. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Leave your comments below. Give us a like if you think this video is uh, something that uh, benefits you. And please hit the subscribe button, share share the love, give us a, a subscribe and click the notification bell because we got other videos like this coming out uh, in the future. I'm planning on making a video a day. So please uh, subscribe and uh, leave us your comments. And check out the next video I'm going to make, it's going to be super awesome. It will blow your mind if you're really serious about making millions of dollars in real estate.